So uh, there is this gentleman Devdutt Patnaik and he writes a lot of books on mythology and he has numerous books written till now and every book is well written uh, quite deep has a lot of different different uh, insights resources research uh, kind of callbacks to other articles or other uh, material which has been existed so the books are quite deep i'm not sure if you agree with him if you don't agree with him if you disagree with him um, we are not talking about that but we are talking about the body of work and uh, there is a certain learning which i heard him share in one of the podcast uh, which i was listening so in today's episode we'll kind of talk about that and see if it fits us or if it can help us in building our creative work or in in building our career or lifestyle or work style so we'll talk about that in today's episode so let's go your afternoon caffeine with daily pod is here a creative podcast to refuel your day presenting your host sayog also known as the fun indian guy it's going to be very quick one uh, it's mostly ready made and uh, just plug and play kind of a situation there are just four steps uh, which he shared in that podcast what he does to write these many books so we can just take these points and kind of use it for our benefit you can always customize it as per your requirement but if you want to create a body of work if you want to create a long train of different different things a long series of different different things uh, ecosystem of uh, creations products services books videos docs whatever it could be anything but if you want to go into creating a long body of work uh, this this these four steps by devdat are going to be very uh, important so first one is data gathering uh, where he sits and goes through all the books encyclopedias different different materials and resources on the topic and he keeps doing it uh, uh, all the time so it's a, it's an unlimited process and he keeps going through different different interesting material and keeps downloading all the data in his brain documents it in a way you can also do it by your own style but that's the part of data gathering where you're just gathering data gathering knowledge and having it with you so that's the step 1 in step 2 is he is doing the analysis that means he's going through the data which he has collected and he's kind of analyzing it making connections uh, making sense out of it uh, turning insights into opportunities or some sort of uh, connecting the dot kind of situation so basically step 1 is downloading the insight step 2 is making sense of it going through it and uh, as i discussed this with you we actually do similar things in design research and in the innovation workshops which we run or uh, which we do also under futuring now lab so that 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 was a nice connection there which i didn't realize before but yeah now it's right here coming back to his step step 3 is his world experience world view his point of view uh the data which he has gathered and made sense of he tries to put his own perspective in it his own point of view his own experience and try to connect and make more sense of it so that whatever he has gathered so far would make sense because if it doesn't make sense to him and his world view and his experiences it won't stand as a good concept uh, for a book or not a good concept to share in general so that's what he does in 3 and this third step is very important because that that is what m- makes it his interpretation or the third step if we apply in our life that will make that particular thing our curation because it will be dependent on our point of view and our take on the world so the first and two uh, second step could be similar for you and me but the third one will have your personality in your own uh, step and my personality in my step so the third step is very important where you kind of link it to your experiences and in the fourth step you share the knowledge so you package everything uh, if by step 1 step 2 step 3 and you share it with the world uh, in his case he makes podcast he makes books he writes many books um, in your case it can be a project a creative project a video a documentary a uh, essay series or maybe a product or a service it could be anything anything you want to create uh, but that's how you package it and consistently keeps uh, uploading or keeps uh, publishing things uh, because now he has a system in place uh, and that's why he is able to kind of club together and 
punch or push out as much of content as possible and create value because the steps one, two, three are quite meaningful and valuable instead of just randomly doing stuff and putting it out there. So those were the simple steps, four steps. They sound simple. They might not be simple to execute, but those are four simple phases uh, to kind of create a body of work uh, consistently from Mr. Devadatta Patlaik. Again, this is my interpretation of his. Um, it might not be exactly what he meant in that podcast, but whatever I heard, that was data gatheration, then I analyzed in my head and in my personal experience, I was like, okay, these four steps, if we say it this way, they do make sense. And then I kind of shared it with you. So by making this particular podcast, we actually did the practice of following those four steps. So I hope you found that interesting. And I'm pretty sure you will have some people around you who are trying to create something. It could also be a simple profile on Instagram, or they want to create reels for some particular topic, or they're trying to build their own uh, solo entrepreneurship or freelance practice, or they're a designer, they're trying to create their new series or something. Uh, they're creative, they're making new films or whatever. It could be anything. They're creating new startup or if, uh, anything for that matter. I'm, sh I'm sure you might be having at least one person around you who is going through that. And I think it could be very nice as a gesture if you will go ahead and share this particular episode with them because they might find some sort of bits and pieces in this episode which can help them uh, look at their work in in certain way and can help them question it. I'm not saying they will have to follow these four steps. They can come up with whatever process they want, but I think it will be really interesting for them as well. So go ahead and share this episode with that one person which you think uh, kind of would appreciate this particular document or podcast. That's all guys from this episode. I'll catch you in the next one. Till that time, take care, stay safe. Peace out. If you like what we do, then make sure to follow Daily Ish Pod wherever you listen to podcasts as well as on Instagram. For more visual experience, do subscribe to the Fun Indian Guy YouTube channel. Until next time, have fun.